Hey guys, my name is Graham McLean and I'm a sophomore at Homewood High School. I'm on the O-line for the football team and I throw a shot put for the outdoor track team. Just as many of us have, I have struggled to stay close to God during the pandemic. I didn't have the weekly reminders and accountability from my friends that I found an element in person, an element in person fusion and contact, and just the ability to spend time at the church. Instead of turning to him with my fears, worries, prayer requests, or even praises from the ways I saw him working during this difficult time, I tended to just figure out how to get through the days, weeks, months, and almost a year now on my own. Looking back, I know that he, is, he was always there, waiting and wanting me to turn to him, as I wish that I had taken the time to be in relationship with him through all of this. But the good news is that he promises eternity with him, and he will always be here and waiting for me. And that gives me great hope during, during times like these. And so the word that really resonates with me right now is hope. In Romans chapter 12, verse 12, it says, Rejoice in hope, be patient in tribulation, and be constant in prayer. I feel like this really models what we should do as Christians and what I should have been doing this past year. It acknowledges that our hope, our future, and eternity with God is worth celebrating. It's never too late to turn to Him. And by doing so, trusting Him, waiting on Him, and being in relationship with Him, God will bring us through anything, even a pandemic. He knows that we will face suffering in this life, but that is only temporary, and His hopeful promises in eternity. God has been waiting and waiting and is wanting to hear from me, and He wants to hear from you too. If you have struggled to stay close to God like me, it's not too late to pick up the conversation where, where you left off with Him. I challenge you to make tonight the night that you reach back out and get connected. Maybe that means you pick up your Bible, maybe it's listening to worship music, and maybe you spend a, a few intentional quiet minutes in prayer. We have a lot to be hopeful for in the days ahead, but our hope and its eternity in Him is, is one of the greatest joys of all. My name is Graham and my word is hope.